Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Now today we are doing another top 10 time in Europe. This is Daily Race A in a Renault Clio V6 around the Goodwood circuit. Now this is a very difficult track to get right but I'm just going to show you how I got my time, try and give you a bit of guidance on what to do, where to break to try and improve your qualifying times for this week's daily races. So enough talking, let's get on with the video then. So. As we start off then, as you're going to see on the left hand side here, you're going to see these two marshals in this box. This is the point where you start to turn right. Just let go of the throttle slightly and then get back on the power. I'm going to slow it right down here. You see the inside of this kerb, it is crucial to your lap time. You really want to get two or three wheels over that kerb to maximise the time you can make through this corner. Because the longer you are turning right on this car, uh, the you lose a lot of time. You need to get that wheel as straight as possible uh, as quick as you can. Otherwise, the time lost is just... It's massive. It makes a big difference uh, in these low-powered cars. Coming up to the next major corner, then you're going to see. I'm going to slow it down to the left-hand side here. You're going to see there's some hay barrels just to the left of your screen. That's when you want to brake, turn in again, attack this curb as much as you possibly can. And then this point here, you see that little uh, left-hand indicator there. You want to basically brake at that point, tuck in on this corner as much as you can, ride it as much as possible in fourth gear, power out get the power down nice and early and there you set yourself up. So in this section here then you're going to see there's a little bit of, I don't know what you want to call that, a little white mark on the track. Brake at this point and then turn in. Uh, hit the middle of the apex and then power up as soon as possible. Making sure you don't hit that kerb on the outside, otherwise again you're going to go too wide and you're going to lose too much time. This bit here just seems like an age because all you're going to do now, keep your foot planted until you get to virtually the second or third last corner of the circuit getting yourself ready for uh, the big boy chicane so here we go then coming up to this corner here I'm just gonna stop it here you see where the grass ends there on the left hand side that's when you want to break so break just at that point tuck yourself in let go of the at halfway through the corner power up make sure you abuse the curbs on the right and then the left change yourself into fourth gear I'm gonna slow it right down here you need to take a risk you have to attack this chicane like there's no tomorrow. Get as close as you possibly can. You've really got to do well. Make sure on the exit you have to take the grass and you have to avoid that uh, sign there to tell you how far it is to the next corner. But there we go, a 127.861. Now I really hope this video does help you improve your lap times, that's the whole point of this video, it's just to show you how I did it, if I can do it, anyone can do it, it just takes lots of practice and you will eventually get there. So with these little hints and tips, I really do hope it improves your lap time. Uh, it's been fun making this, uh, please like and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the video. I want to make plenty more of these, so if they get enough support I will try and do these every single week but it's been a real pleasure there's a timer there uh, it's joint fourth at the moment it was third when I first recorded this but yeah there you go uh, thanks very much take care I'll see you for the next one ta-da